Well, taking a look at Walgreens stock under pressure this morning after the CEO, Rosalind Brewer, steps down. The board has appointed Ginger Graham as the company's interim CEO. Here to talk more about Walgreens' issues they're facing and their future, Yahoo Finance reporter Anjali Kemlani. Hey, Anj. Hey, Rochelle. That's right. Uh, Rosalind Brewer stepping down this morning in a seemingly abrupt move for the company just a few weeks after they already lost their recent CEO. So now two leadership roles are empty and searching uh, and they're searching to fill those. Uh, in a statement this morning, the company said that it was a mutual agreement for Roz to step down with the board. She will, however, advise the company while they conduct their search for a permanent C- CEO. We, you know, she's no stranger to leadership roles. We've seen her in the past uh, at Starbucks as a chief operating officer and president of Sam's Club. But this has been the shortest stint so far in a leadership role. She joined Walgreens in the middle of the pandemic in 2021 and has only just now after two and a half years stepped down. In a LinkedIn note this morning, she did say it was the hardest note she would have to write, uh, but no clarifications, no clarity as of right now as to what caused this this sudden departure. Yeah, Anjali, uh, this a huge move here that we're seeing announced by Walgreens, especially considering the fact that um, women and CEO roles and then even more so black women in CEO roles, uh, very small percentage of the overall makeup in the Fortune 500 and S&P 500 as well. Um, We've also seen today that the FTC is following Amgen to buy Horizon Therapeutics. Can you tell us what that means for the pharmaceutical industry? Yeah, that, that's a, going to be a quick move forward. The FTC and Amgen coming to an agreement on the decision to close that deal th- for the end of this year, fourth quarter of 2023. And Amgen has has said in a statement today that you know the agreements or the issues uh, that they had with the FTC will now be put to rest. The FTC filing to challenge that uh, acquisition on grounds that they suspected that Amgen could really monopolize the market and stifle competitors to some of the products in Horizon's uh, pipeline. So as it stands right now, this just clears the pathway and they can continue moving forward for that deal closure at the end of the year. All right, Anjali Kamalani, Yahoo Finance's own. Thanks so much for tracking those stories, breaking them down for us, Anj. Appreciate it.